Hey there, I'm Sarah from Simply Steam and today I'm going to show you web design. If you missed my STEM challenge last week, be sure you go back and watch candy corn water bottle flipping. This is number two of four STEM challenges for Halloween. The next STEM challenge is web design. You can use pipe cleaner, you can use yarn. So either one of those that you want to try out, maybe you want to offer both and see, let the kids pick what they want to use to see which works better. You can also substitute the spooky tree for the back of a chair, like on the bottom of it, just so that you have two things that you can build a web between. I just like this tree. It was so cute because uh, it, it was $3. I mean, it was really cute. All right. So we're gonna do a web design. When you are doing this, you can also add some uh, really great spider books. Like Gail Gibbons has a really great spider book. It's a nonfiction text about spiders. We've also included four different posters to teach your students about the different types of spider webs. Did you know that there's an orb web there is also a like a cone web that's pretty cool so using that information they can um, create or design their own type of spider web so the object of this is to see if we can um, catch some spiders One of the constraints that you can give your students is the amount of yarn or pipe cleaner that they use. Okay, here it is. Here is the web design. Now we're gonna take 10 spiders and we are going to toss them into our web to see if it'll catch. What I recommend doing is these are little spider rings and I just like to, before I um, do this, I just like to snip off the ring, so then that way it's just a small, little, flat spider. So we're gonna do that to 10. Okay, we are ready to launch this thing. Let's see if these spiders will catch. Here we go. Oh, one, two, Three. Oh, that one caught. Four. Five. Yes. Oh no, I knocked it off. Oh, come on. Oh, well, as you can see, I only got one spider attached to my web and it was really hard, but it was a lot of fun. I'll try again next time and I'm sure it's gonna be so much better. Be sure to head on over to my other video, Seven Creative Math Games, where I will show you other fun things to play during Halloween.